this session introduce essentials for you to know so that you are able to uh, process Python scripts from within Plexus. So this is a screenshot of what you could have and that what to do to basically access uh, Python script. We are talking about two ways actually of accessing Python for Plexus. First, Plexus come with its own environment and its own editor, as you can see here. And this editor is basically the environment that you will use to either, if you are a programmer, to either program, write your code, or if you have a code like the one, uh, the ones that I will give you, so you can basically load these Python scripts uh, through this uh, process, and then you can run it as I will explain to you here. So first, you need to go to expert, assume that you have finished your model, because this course talk about uh, essentially extracting data from the output results. So you go to expert, under expert you will find Python, under Python you will find editor. Let us do this together here so that you can uh, you can see it. I have here uh, a Plexus 3D model, simple one. This is Plexus 3D. So I did the analysis and I created the mesh, etc., etc. And then now I have everything ready basically to go. So the way to access is to go expert, Python, editor. And when you do this, you will see that uh, I already have here some script. If for you, if you don't have any script, it is what you would be getting. I will repeat this process again. So you go to expert, Python, editor, and this will give you an application. Its name is SciT, SciTe. This is the editor that Plexus use. It's a, a, a bit simple. I wouldn't say primitive, but it does the job. I will show you another way to do it, but it's a bit complex and I will not elaborate on this complex method. So basically, this is where you can load your uh, Python script and you can run it. I'll show you. For example, if I, if you have some scripts, you, you open any of these scripts and then you can uh, you can load it like that. This is a one that has, uh, its name is erase. I'll just remind myself to erase any unnecessary scripts and it has to take the extension py for Python. If you come close here to the right, you should be able to drag this to bring that window here that you will be uh, able to see the messages that you get from uh, the program when you run it. So all you need to do, if you have the uh, Python script, I presume that you, you don't know anything about this, uh, and you are not expected to program this yourself. You shouldn't have to worry about it, but I'll show you in detail how to use it. So basically, if you go to tool here, all you need to do is to run this by saying go, pressing F5 or, or just pressing here, and you will see a window here that will show you the progress of this Python script. If you wanna, if you wanna stop it, so you will see stop executing here. It is as simple as that. And in this, there are some basic functions, like if you press Control F, for example, Control F, if you are, if you are interested in a specific word, say message here, so it will show you these, uh, basically the words that you are after. So this is method one, which I will focus on uh, in this course. The other, the other uh, way is if you have, uh, if you have Visual Studio, I'm unable to show this here, but I think I can somehow, I can bring it here. So if you, uh, if you have Visual Studio, so, I will show it here. So you can just bring Visual Studio uh, by here, you, you see here, I have Visual Studio code, as you can see. So this will enable you basically to have this Visual Studio uh, programming uh, environment, and you can again open 
uh, and create your courtroom within. For this, you need basically to uh, upload uh, several, uh, several libraries to be able to use it. So like I said, I'm not gonna focus much on those, but I will show you uh, how to do uh, from within this environment. So you wanna close this, so you close this. And you can, by the way, invoke this code or this editor. If you go to Plex's output here, I'm, I'm opening the output of this model. Uh, you will see, uh, hopefully it's coming here. So you will see the Plex's output, it's here. And again, you can go to expert and then you can you can uh, do the editor. If you have not used this before, actually, you will see something. Let's see it together because that's quite important. I will close, I will close all of this. I'm, I want to save it here because I need it. Uh, so what I'm opening now, again, Plexus. So I'm opening Plexus. So it will come here now. And I will say, opening this again, see what will happen if you have not used this before. So expert Python editor. So now Plexus is giving me something here that I have to respond to. So for me, let me go to that uh, because this is, this is quite important. So let us go to this here. I'm just showing you what I explained already, uh, how to access this, but, uh, you can see here to access servers we have two servers here one for the input and one for the output i'm not gonna go into the details here for, in terms of programming so you don't have to 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 worry about this but going back to what plexus is giving me so plexus has uh, given me a port that i can change by the way this is a port number to access the uh to access the server, I will explain in more detail what these servers are. So, so basically, it provides you with the port number and it provides you with a, a password that you will need to copy sometimes and paste according to your machine. So every machine will have its own server based on, on availability. So if you see this set, for example, it means that it's not available. So then, then all you need to do is just to keep uh, increasing this number or decreasing this number until you have something. Once you're happy with this, so say start server and close, this will give you this environment here. And remember that you need to bring this to that side so that you can basically uh, uh, you can access it. You want to remove it, so right click here, say close. Uh, if you want to open it, uh, you open a new one, uh, you just use it as any normal application. So let me go back to this because this is quite essential for you to understand. So this will be the code um, or, or, or examples of the code that you will need to have in most of the scripts. The first one, I will explain to you in now in a bit of detail before, before actually we delve into the applications of the Python scripting itself. It's crucial to understand how we establish a connection between Python and the Plexus software. So this connection allows us to automate the workflows and retrieve the results uh, uh, with ease, which is basically the backbone of this course. So Plexus operates with two distinct servers, one for the input module. You can see here there is this I, underscore I, and this is underscore I. So these are for input. And there is another one for the output, again, G underscore O, that's for the output, and the S underscore O for the, for the output. All you need to know is to understand the physical meaning of that. The, end, the port, as you can see, is 10,000. This is the one that I showed you. That's the, the local host port for the input server will be 10,000. For the output, it's 10,000. Where to get it? Uh, if I open this and go back to the output, 
the input takes the input servers take a, a port number and the, the output also take a port number so you won't be able to see it here unless you go to expert configure remote scripting server as you can see this has 10,001 if you say 10,000 it's 10,000 will not be available because we have already booked it for the uh, for the input module input server so you have to choose one else okay something else so basically that is the so let us go back to explain this story of the uh, of the servers so like i said plexus operates with two distinct servers one for the input module and another one for the output module the input module is basically where you define and configure your geotechnical models so this this i this i is basically where you have the input model uh, model that you build in praxis uh, while the output module is where results and the analysis data are accessed so basically this is a o and this is the o so to interact with these modules the input and the output uh, programmatically so python scripts must connect to these servers which uh, communicate uh, over the designated ports so this is basically the merit so basically the script that we see now on the screen is uh, what you will see as part of any code or, or instances of this or some variations of this so establishing the connection is number one in any code so as you can see here we have a local host port input i explained it same for the output and the new server function this establishes the connection to the servers so this is a function that say oh connect me now to the input server or connect me now to the output uh, server we have si and the gi those refer to the input server and its global namespace basically uh, and the uh, again the s and the g here would be the same for the uh, output by establishing these connections we create basically a bridge between python and the plexus which enable uh, uh, our scripts to control plexus models and retrieve output data uh, without much effort so what we are in the connection whatever i write here so it goes and be translated as commands to plexus to execute whether in the input module or in the output module itself and in the practical examples that will follow you will see how this connection is used repeatedly to execute tasks such as uh, uh, automating the model setup and and extracting results this step is critical and ensures that python acts as a powerful assistant to plexus which in the end the function or the purpose is to eliminate repetitive tasks uh, and enhance your workflow efficiency so uh, you will see that uh, some of the other stuff that i will uh, show you in uh, the next video is how to uh, install certain libraries that will enable you to interact with a bit of more efficiency like for example if i would like to write to uh, excel file so you need a certain library if you need to work on matrices you need uh, uh, another library and uh, uh, mathematical functions and so on and so forth so i will actually see you uh, in the next session to explain to you how to install all of this stuff i'll see you next bye bye